What is up YouTube? I'm Ben Price and holy shit, it has been about nine months since my last upload. I can't believe it's been so long, but just life. Am I right? Anyway, I'm back. Blanca's gone. She's out with some renters and I've actually got Beatrix behind me. A little bit more on that later, but if you would like to rent Blanca or one of our other rigs, I'll have some more details on that at the end of the vid. So with that, let's queue up today's video. So if you're new here, these videos were originally meant for Instagram TV or IGTV, so apologies for the vertical video. And some of them were a little short, so today we're actually going to smash together episodes 4, 5, and 6. It's three episodes in one, so there's lots of good stuff in this video. I uh, played with some new tools, I built a bed, the fridge cabinet, so without further delay... I love this fan. First time I'm getting out here today, it's like 3 in the afternoon, the van's been baking in the sun all day, and it is such a cool, comfortable temperature in here. Best purchase I made so far. It's time to play with a new tool. All right, let's see. How do we set this thing up? Oh. Huh. So what we got here is a router with a plunge adapter. We don't need that right now. All I'm going to be using is this guy right here and a nifty little bit that lets me trim up all my edges so everything is like perfectly flat and square and flush and looks really clean. So here's what's gonna happen. Sometimes these edges aren't completely flush. You know, the, this will hang out just a little bit and there'll be kind of a, a little bit of a lip right here. But what happens is this little bearing will ride along the edge right underneath it. And then the blades will cut it so it's all perfectly flat. That way when we paint over it, you don't see a seam. All right, let's do it. Oh, this thing's gonna get so loud. Full disclosure, this thing scares the sh out of me. These blades are so sharp and they're spinning so fast and there is nothing guarding it. That's just the way this tool works. So I have to be extremely focused and careful when I'm using this. All right, so it's the next day getting back to the van build. Um, yesterday, I didn't get to film it, but my friend Devin came over and helped me cut and install the countertop on the kitchen. So one more thing checked off the to-do list. I'm pretty stoked with how it came out so far. Um, this is not the final finish and I still have more cabinetry to do here for the stove. So it's gonna stay like this for now. The final finish, I have an idea. I don't know if it's gonna work yet. So for now, that's gonna be my little secret. What we're working on for the rest of the day though is the bed frame. Um, I have the floor cut out of it but I still need to kind of build the supports and the skeleton of it. So I'm gonna be using one by twos, and these are not actually one by twos. These were one by fours that I cut in half. Little money saving trick for you right there. So now I've gotta go measure all my lengths, cut them up here, cut the pocket hole jigs, do the pocket hole jig. <laughs> I'm sorry for that. And then screw it all together. Huh. Well, I just ran out of material. I got a few of the, the vertical supports cut and one of the long lengths. And uh, well, that's all I have. And I really don't feel like going to the store to pick up stuff and then come back and start working again. It's just, it's too late for that. So that's a wrap for today. See you guys in the next one. Hey everyone. A few quick updates before we get on with today's work. I finished the bed frame. It only took me three tries, no big deal. And I finally got the floor back in, thank God. So today I'm finishing the bed, hopefully, or at least getting started on finishing the bed. Anyway, what we've got to do is build another face frame right here, and this is going to be loose and floating. The slats that are going to be covering the top of the bed are going to be part attached to this and part attached to that floating face frame so that the whole bed can extend to the face of this cabinet, creating a double wide bed big enough for two people. And to do that, cutting up more plywood.
Okay, so I think this is pretty self-explanatory what we got here. I've got the top and bottom of the sliding frame and the support pieces. Now the only thing different about this than anything else I've been doing is you can see I've got these little felt sliders on here so that this bed frame kind of slides across the floor nice and easy. So I didn't cut quite enough pieces yet, but I just counted I need about seven more. So I'm gonna go cut those right now and then I'll pretty much be ready to assemble the bed. Those are cut. I've got two more and then I'm screwing everything together and it's getting to be a long day. So I'm gonna try to bang through this as fast as I can. It works. Hold on a second. That should be better. I've got a bed, finally. It is uh, much later than I wanted it to be, so I'm gonna call it a night and I'll catch you guys in the next one. I made the bed. Hold on one second. <clears throat> what I mean by I made the bed is I cut up a mattress from Amazon and made a couple cushions. Now, these aren't gonna stay like this. I'm gonna bring everything to an upholsterer and have all the cushions have their own covers separately so it looks all nice. But for this first road trip, not a priority. So we're just gonna do it with a fitted sheet now. And the other thing I did was add some adhesive backed Velcro to any of the seams or edges of the curtain. So I'm a little bit more light proof now. Still a little bit of work to do up there, but that'll be quick and easy. And the project for today is gonna to be building the cabinet that's gonna sit right here that houses the two burner stove. <laughs> Huh, if only they were all that easy. Fits pretty good. So the next step is actually to take off this countertop. This is gonna become door fronts for the rest of the kitchen cabinet. And I'm gonna do one solid countertop all the way across. But in order to do that, I have to go borrow more plywood and the store is closed for today. So I'll see you guys next time. So that was probably about an entire month's worth of the build all crammed into a few minutes. And as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, Blanca is actually available for rent. She's gone on a rental right now. She's actually been on rentals pretty much every single weekend since January at the beginning of this year, 2020. And uh, it's been going so well that we actually bought another van, Sylvia, which uh, we're building right now. And we're putting this car, my girlfriend Emily's car, Beatrix, up for rent with a rooftop tent uh, as well. So if you guys are interested in renting Blanca or any of our other rigs, which are either coming soon or, or maybe for rent now, depending on when you watch this, head to vamanosvans.com for more info or to book now. And that about wraps it up for today's video, guys. I really hope that you enjoyed it. And if you did, make sure to go down below and like, subscribe, turn on notifications so you'll know when I come up with new build videos. And if you have any questions about building your own van or van life in general, go ahead and leave me a comment down below. And if you wanna watch more of my videos, go ahead and click over here. That's a video that Google thinks that you'll enjoy. And as always, thank you again for watching and I'll catch you guys back in the next video.